have you seen my video how to draw a Christmas Nutcracker soldier inspired by token hearts and amazing stop frame animation by the Morrow brothers for which I did the voice over narration? Well, here is the promised video showing you how to paint the soldier in watercolor. Click the link to go and see token hearts, the fabulous festive story of love and determination. I am going to give him Naples yellow for kind of flesh tones. And on his little mitts and a little bit of vermilion to just make him look a bit more like he's been out on sentry duty. <laughs> that and I'll put a little bit of pink up there just loads of like his gums I'm just going to work my way down and do in yellow all these bits which I think are going to be gold like that I think his epaulettes would be gold and probably his sleeves his cuffs <laughs> gold and cuffs I think this will be gold here maybe a little of gold in there. Um, I think it's going. That's going to be a kind of a gold braid. But then I might do the buttons in something else. And again, I think maybe gold across the bottom there and gold across the top. I think also the base might be a kind of gold as well. So oh, I should have left a little bit of highlight. There. Never mind. That will do. Um, and while it's wet, I'm going to start adding a little bit of um, burnt sienna in there just to kind of get a gold goldness rather than just pure yellow. Now I'm going to do all the red. And I think I'm going to leave a little bit of a kind of a line down there because it's made out of glossy wood. So I want it to look a little bit shiny. And similarly here, I'll try and leave a little hint of shininess, maybe a bit just there. And then I'm going to darken that up on that side. Maybe we'll do the same with the legs, I think, red. Red pants. We say trousers in England. <laughs> I don't know, some people call them pants. <laughs> but I'm an old fashioned kind of guy, so I like to call them trousers. This beard, a little bit of kind of hint of blue. And then I'm going to do blue for the shirt, undershirt, or whatever it is you see underneath there. I think that would look good. Now for the rest of it, I'm going to turn to my favourite trusty neutral tint, which is not black. And I always say it, I don't use black in watercolour because it's just too powerful. If you make a mistake, you can't do anything with it really. And, and watercolour is such a delicate medium that it, you know, if you paint with black, it tends to leave a great big hole in the picture. And uh, so I steer clear of it myself. A neutral tint is a kind of a bluey black and it just kind of works for me. And while that's still wet, I'm just going to flood a bit more darker in on that side. I'm just going to blend it in. Neutral tint is really, really good for it's just kind of putting in shadows, kind of like that. So you can add a bit of kind of 3D-ness feel to it. And around the side of the beard, that'll be causing a shadow. 
and certainly underneath there you'll have a shadow around there like that and on the table a bit of shadow there and then I want to kind of pull it away and make that kind of disappear into the distance like that there we are and all I have to do now is sign it 12 14 and maybe you're the lucky one to buy it well in case you didn't see how to draw it uh, click on the video and go and find out now or have a go at the mystery drawing either way make sure you're subscribed to the Sue Rayner drawing channel and why not go and find out about my ebook everyone can draw because everyone can draw and if you read this book <laughs> you will be able to too <laughs> in the meantime keep drawing 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 practice 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.